And now, your first Alert 5 weather. As we had our first burst of snow on Saturday, Larry captured the Rams at Garden of the Gods and you can really tell that they do actually have a bit of camouflage really blending in there as the snow was heavy and reducing visibility. So we had our first snowfall of the year about right on time. Typically in Colorado Springs, we see our first snow last week of October and for Pueblo, we usually see it first week of November. So about right on time. And thanks to the snow and the cold weather, Arapahoe Basin was able to open on Sunday, the first of the state and other ski resorts saw at least a foot of snow and Monarch Mountain is looking great. So fingers crossed they get to open soon as well totally snow packed there. Looking ahead, we see a weak cold front tonight that just reinforces our cool air. But then for the rest of the week, we are trending much warmer as a high, a high pressure weather pattern takes over and our temperatures will return back to seasonable 60s. So we just got a little time left with this cold weather. Outside right now, we're mostly talking 40s, some low 50s in the southeastern plains. It's 51 in La Junta, Lamar, 44 in Pueblo, still pretty chilly in Colorado Springs at 34. Tonight will be cold once again. This morning we were in the single digits and teens, and tonight we'll mostly be in the teens, couple 20s but also a few more single digits as well, down to five in Alamosa, nine in Monument. So looking ahead, tomorrow's Halloween with that weak cold front tonight, it's just gonna reinforce these 40s. 48 for the high in Pueblo, 44 in the Springs will be sunny all day, which will help to further melt any lingering snow. And in terms of our high temperatures across the region tomorrow, 40s, 50s, still well below average, but that high pressure takes over and we will see some relief. Unfortunately, not in time for trick or treating. So for your trick or treat forecast right before sunset, we'll see some 40s, some upper 30s. After the sun sets, we'll quickly drop into those 30s and eventually 20s as we get late into the evening. So Halloween is the last really chilly day. Wednesday's where we really start to see the change up to 58 for our high that day. Just a few clouds moving in during the evening hours. And overall, it should be a pre pretty pleasant Wednesday. But our temperatures climb even more so through the end of the week. Friday looks lovely at 67 and we stay in those seasonable 60s through the weekend. So our weather pattern kind of goes back to more of a boring status quo kind of day or kind of week. We are expecting a nice warming trend in Pueblo from 48 for Halloween, 57 on Wednesday. That's really our turning point. We'll be back to the low 60s by Thursday and we stay quite warm through the end of the week. Looking ahead in Canyon City, got 57 for Tuesday and back up to the 60s as we head throughout the week. We are going to see some increasing clouds as well, but overall we are going to see some relief from this really cold air. And for Woodland Park, I've got you to 43 tomorrow for Halloween. Should definitely be cold for trick or treating after that sun sets. And we'll have several overnight temperatures staying in the 20s through the rest of the week, even though our afternoon highs rebound back to really comfortable 50s. And that's going to be the status quo as we head into the weekend as well. So relief is ahead, much more warmer weather to come.